So this started with me coming in here to price the pieces for the booth. And then I was like, I know I have stuff in this closet. <laughs> this is some trash and some donations trash. I'm kind of cleaning this out, getting rid of things that I want to put in my booth. Um, and then I've put all the seasonal stuff like the pumpkins and Christmas items in the guest closet. Yeah. And surely this is not just me. <laughs> um, but look. It got broke here, and it got broke here. I'm gonna try to get some putty and just kind of fix it and then just kind of repaint it, but to look like this. Cause I think I can do it with some silver paint and some wax. That's what it looks like. If you look at it up close, it just looks like it's been painted and then they've waxed it. So I'm gonna try that and then I'll just keep it because Just, you know, I don't have anywhere for it, but I'll keep it and it'll look cute somewhere. So I'm going to try to fix that. But yeah, this is yours truly in here. Trying to figure out and get some organization with my seasonal stuff. And just going through and seeing what I want to sell, what I don't want to keep. You know, I'll just stick it in the booth. I need to go through all them paints because half of them are dried out. I need to go through that. But, yeah, that's what I'm doing today. And I had no intentions of doing this today. But I guess when the mood strikes, you just get with it, right? <laughs> what a difference. Have all of my booth stuff priced and ready to go. And I'm learning to price as I go. It makes it so much easier. This is the shelf that I had in my living room that I'm giving to Delana. And then that's the shelf James made for my mama. Y'all, look how pretty hers turned out. Leaving it the vintage. Um, leaving the corbels in their natural state. She is going to die. <laughs> she is going to love it so much. But... I've also pulled this out. I'm thinking about putting it back on my front door for now. I'm looking for a different spring wreath, but I love this one. I actually made that cross, just stuck a wreath to it. But look at her. Okay, so that is another booth bag. I went through the paints and cleared them out. Got the bins for my receipts, projects to work on. Um donate and I've got to work on that shelf to put it back in the booth but that's how it's all looking and it is organized chaos y'all <laughs> it does look so much better so I'm happy with that so progress has been made and then all of these I've kept them organized since I did those so like that has my materials and ribbons this has like my picture hanging kit copy paper. This has my picks for my pick machine, my paint, um, tarps and stuff. What is in this one? Oh yeah, this is like old receipts that she told us to hang on to, my wax melts, um, construction paper, different things like that I might need. And then this is like my glue sticks, um, all that kind of stuff. And then that is like anything electrical, like cords, adapters, all of that. And then down there in that bottom drawer is where as I thrift seasonal items for my home, I will kind of shove them in that drawer. And then I know to go look at that drawer to see if I have a seasonal item. So this has stayed very nice and I'm so happy I've kept that the way it was in, I've organized it. So I know it may look a bit junky to some of y'all, but... It really does look so much better. <laughs> and then over here is where I sit and do my devotionals. It's my books. I have some books in there. Um, my iPad, which don't stay there, and I need to take that screwdriver out. But this is where I sit and do my devotionals. And I do hauls in here. This is just kind of like my little... I made it the room for James, but yours truly is kind of taking it over. But that's okay. <laughs> And then this is a contractor trash bag. So if you know, you know how large those are. 
And that is trash that I've taken out of here that I will be throwing away. So, uh, yeah, it's a process, but you know, I really would love to get like a she shed so I could have all my booth and decor in it, but that'll be for another day down the road, maybe. It's another rainy day, but I got to run to Dollar Tree. I've got to get a baby shower bag and some tissue paper. And I want to see if I can get some cute wrapping paper and I need to get a box and some ribbon. <laughs> and so Dollar Tree is the best place for that. So I'm going to run there and pick that up and then get back home. Uh, just been tidying up stuff and it feels so good to have my office closet all that tidied and um i may look and see if dollar tree has some check out the florals to kind of spruce up my wreath from my front door i feel like i'm so behind on getting the front porch decorated <sighs> but i just i don't know easter just comes i think easter comes really early this year and uh Maybe, maybe I'll get motivated and I haven't been to get any plants so I need to get some ferns and all that and I just I haven't been there not there mentally yet <laughs> to get all that started you know what I mean anyway so let me run get my stuff done and while I'm out I may pop in the thrift store I don't know I have to see how I'm feeling y'all welcome back so your girl is headed to a baby shower today i'm meeting delana and uh before we do that there's supposed to be so many yard sales in loosedale where we're going to the baby shower so i got up and got dressed and i've left early i'm going to try to hit some of the yard sales before i meet up with her so i'm hoping i have some good luck it's finally getting like yard sale season time and I do get that question of, you know do I shop yard sales absolutely I grew up going to yard sales my mom and them oh my lord I would never forget we would start out on a Saturday up early and we was yard selling it so yes I definitely shop yard sales and there's supposed to be quite a few where I'm headed so hopefully I have some luck at some yard sales today um, and I just, I can't wait to see what they have. <laughs> but I'm going to be meeting her and then we're going to go hang out at the baby shower and see Michael and his wife and, uh, just have fun. See some people that I haven't seen in a long time. So that's what I'm up to today. James and Buster at home chilling out. I don't know what they'll get into, but oh well. <laughs> Hopefully the house will still be standing by the time I get home. <laughs> Anyway, I just wanted to get on here, open this vlog up, or continue this vlog. I don't know how it's going to play out, but I will catch up with y'all later. Well, yard sale number one was a no-go. Um, I didn't find anything that I needed or wanted. But honey, I'm telling you, if you have kids, yard sales is the way to go. They have so many cute kids' clothes. Um, yeah definitely get out to your yard sales because some things you know if your kids they don't wear them but like one or two times and then they outgrow them so they're practically brand new so anyway on to the next oh my god y'all <laughs> just as i was about to give up i hit the mother load of a yard sale and they were like make an offer no reasonable offer refused and i just kept finding stuff and finding stuff and i even left stuff but i got the the best stuff i think anyway i was like <sighs> it's like i don't know if i have enough money they said oh yeah you do i didn't you know i was like i don't know anyway when i show y'all what i got and i give them every last dollar i had and I gave them a couple things I had in the back that I was going to put in the booth because I just felt so bad 
for everything I got for what I paid. I'm sorry, I know that's probably gonna get any else nerves. Anyway. <sighs> Wait till you see what I got. Wait till you see what I got. You are going to die. Oh my word. I still I'm like I'm shaking y'all. This is what <laughs> a high feels like. <laughs> When you're a thrift or a yard seller, this is what a high feels like. I'm just like, uh, what? Where we headed? To the baby shower. This is one of the gifts, and then there's the other gift with the card. <laughs> Can't wait to see Michael. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> y'all I am back home and I cannot wait to share this amazing haul with y'all it is just like I I'm still like over the moon hold on what is it come here come here here's Buster Mwah. you missed your mommy today I heard from daddy that you kept him trained, that he did exactly what you wanted while I was gone. He was a good boy. And you're a good boy. You can say hey to everybody. You can say hey. <laughs> you let mama did this haul? Okay. <laughs> no, go. <laughs> so, I have a mixed haul. I have yard sale items and I have some Goodwill items. But the majority of what I'm going to show you is yard sale items. And I just, I'm just, I'm over the moon. So, I went to, let me see. I was kind of discouraged to start with. Because I had went to like, one, two, about five yard sales. And this is my tip I'm fixing to give y'all. Because if I would have went with what I thought, I would have missed out on what, on the this haul, all of this come all of this with the exception of one item, and my Goodwill items come from one yard sale. And when I was riding by it, I kind of rode by and kind of looked, and I thought, oh, "There's nothing there for me," but I stopped anyway. And I, I just can't believe it. So let me just get started. I'll show you the first item that I picked up at a little, uh, well, they had a, the parking lot at the Goodwill, the shopping center there. They had like this big countywide like yard sale up there. And I walked through, but those prices, they were wanting like antique store prices on most of it. So the things I were, was interested in, I was just too high. So, but I did find this and it wasn't priced. And I asked the man, I said, how much is this? And he said, a dollar. And I said, okay. I'll take it. I love it. Y'all know how we are. I love our Rusty Krusty. So this is going to go over there in my little baking area. I love it so much. And then um, the rest of the items, with the exception of the Goodwill items, came from one other yard sale. And I'm blown away. Okay, let me just get started. I picked up this little cup. I think this will be so cute in the, like the Christmas time, like I'm getting ready for Christmas in July. Set a little tree in it. And I can't tell you prices because they just said, I gathered up everything I wanted and they said, make an offer, no reasonable offer will be denied. And I'll tell you what I paid for everything when I get through showing you everything I got. So next is this little bowl. I don't think there was a mark on the bottom, no. But I got this. Y'all hear Buster over there grunting. I wanted to get these three things to show y'all together. So I got this ink jar. Got that. This little brown medicine jar. It says Whitehall on the side of it. And then this is a little antiseptic jar. I've got those. Okay, I got this, and I'm going to need y'all to tell me what this is for, because I'm not sure, but it has the green handle, it's rusty, it's crusty, 
And the more I look at it, I'm wondering, is this a kitchen utensil or is this a mechanical utensil? I don't know. I need to Google lens it. If I Google lens it and I find out, I'll let y'all know, but that's what I got. And then this, I remember my granny having one like this, this red handled ice pick. Got that. We have not even scratched the surface. Okay, then I found this. This looks just like my grandmother's platter that I have hanging on my wall. And on the back, it has USA. They're filthy and dirty. They need to be washed, but look. I wanna say that's probably some dirt. I'm not sure, but look. Oh, I love it. Then I found this. This says Hotel China. I can't read what the name is, but look, look at all that craisin. Look at that. All that craisin. This is what the back of it is. Got that. I have not, as you can see, I've not washed any of it. Then I got this cute little blue transferware platter. The back of it says um, Mitchell Woolberry. Mayor China, Boston, Ma Mitchell Woolberry Company, Mayor China, Boston. But I thought, how pretty would this be for like my 4th of July? That's the back. Then I found this beautiful platter. I love the scalloped edges. And this one says something China. But y'all look at all the craisin. What does that say? I don't know. I can't read what it says. Oh my gosh. This one, y'all. Look at this one. This is a Homer Laughlin. And I want to say that I have the little saucer that matches this. But look, it was buried and I spotted all this craisin. I just love it. And then one more. Um, I can't make out the name. This one, it is heavy. But look at the back, y'all. Look at all that crazing. That's the, the name of it. Got that. Okay. Um, oh, and the last thing was this, I wanna say it's an ironstone gravy boat. Y'all have to educate me. Okay. And then I have one other item that I got from that yard sale. And let me show you. I got this old ironing board. It's so sturdy, there was nothing wrong with it. In fact, they had it set up and they had a bunch of glassware on it. They were using it as a table. And um, I was like, so I had all my stuff. And I said, how much? She said, make me an offer. I said, I don't know. I said, I don't know if I have enough cash. She said, I bet you do. And then she said, did you see those old ironing boards? They had two of them. They had this one and another one. This was the better of the two. And I was like, I want this one too. I said, how much for dollars? She said, make me an offer. So I ran to my car to see how much cash I had. And I had $31. And I said, all I have is $31. She said, sold. So I got all of this for $31. Do y'all know how much these go for at the antique stores? So I have a plan for it. We will see. It won't get done right away, but I have an idea how I'm gonna use this. I've been wanting one, but they've been so expensive. And so when I found this, and then I'm gonna be swapping out some decor to keep some of the pieces that I just showed you. So now let me show you my Goodwill haul. Okay, so I messed up. And I bought this book. And I messed up because I did not realize how much it costs. But it's black and it's beautiful. And um, the copyright date is, I mean, it smells old. I mean, 
1947. The latest copyright date is 1952. This one is actually 1952. It is the American College Encyclopedia Dictionary. And I got it. So I may put it in the booth to try to sell it. I may swap it out with a book that I have. We'll see. But it was $4. And I didn't realize it at the time until I was checking out. And I was just like, oh. I should have told him I didn't want it. But, you know. Anyway. The next thing I got at the Goodwill, and this is for the booth, is this quilt. It is in excellent condition. And I'm thinking for my summer patriotic decor, I will use it for styling and it will be for sale. It's a, I'm saying it's probably, I don't know what size it would be, um, but this is, it's got a solid red back. And then this is, this is the front. And it is a beautiful quilt. And if it doesn't sell, I can always use it in my hallway um, on my rocking chair. But I did buy it to put in the booth. It is in great condition. There's no rips, no holes, no tears, no stains. Just beautiful condition. So I will be putting this in my booth. Then I found this solid brass lantern. I wanted to check to see this. I don't know what this is. It's battery operated. Oh, look. This was in it. I would probably change it out for a flameless flickering candle. But it is solid brass. It is heavy. Heavy, heavy. And so this will be going in my booth. It is absolutely gorgeous. I just have nowhere for it. Oh, look, I didn't even realize this. I don't even know if that works. It looks like it's a handle. Oh, oh, it does. It's got this little piece here where, oh, look at that. How cute is that? I didn't even realize it. Okay, well, there you go. But it is absolutely beautiful and heavy. Heavy, heavy, heavy. So I will be putting this in my booth. And the last thing I purchased, and I don't know exactly, I'm probably gonna kind of keep it to haul stuff back and forth to the booth because it is wire and it's really heavy and secure. And I thought this would make a great clothes basket. So I may use it as a clothes basket. I may use it for carrying stuff to my booth. Um, it's just so many good things that it'll do, but this is, I mean, you just can't beat it. You just can't beat it. So I did get this, um, and they were having issues there and I was having to go back and forth to different registers because their machines wasn't working. So I did get a really good discount on my purchases for all the trouble. So I thought that was really nice of them. They didn't have to do that, but they did. So that kind of made up for the book, you know, so. Anyway, that is my haul. What do y'all think? I am so happy it is yard season time, yard sale season time. This is just, ugh. So excited so i'm gonna get all this cleaned up and i'm gonna be swapping out pieces to keep some of these pieces um and just go from there so i just had to share this with you so if i have any of it styled i will show y'all that but now i've got to google lens this to see what this is because it almost looks like what they used to use to change oil filters i wonder if that's what it is let me go ask james we'll see Anyway, I'll catch up with y'all later. Look at this dish drain full of vintage goodness. Oh my gosh. Well, with the exception of that. <laughs> but all of this vintage goodness. So here is where I have hung up my old ironing board. I put my ironing board that I use out in the garage in that little cabinet James made me for my vacuum cleaners and stuff. I rarely use it, but I do like to have it. So all of that got moved out there 
And then I put this here. Now this board, <laughs> this come off of Cody and Sarah's old deck that we ripped out. So I have a piece of them and we just screwed it up here. And then we added this and that is how I've hung my old ironing board. And I love it y'all. Try to get back so I can get a full shot of it. There it is. And then there's this, what the wall looks like that it's on. So this is where I have put the Homo Lockman platter and I put the little ink jar there in the little secretary. I thought it's so cute and I really love it. Um, some of the crazen did lighten up once I washed it because it was just so filthy and dirty, but it's okay. It's still old and crazed and just absolutely beautiful. So that is where I put that one. And then I'm gonna show you, I think this is very similar to that Homer Lachlan platter. I'm not sure, but I think it is. Y'all, this is a recent thrift find. I don't think I've shared it with y'all, but I found it at the Goodwill um, and it's very old. And I paid, uh, I can't remember. I think I paid $2.99 for it. It is a planner, but I don't want to put anything in it because I have this plant. So I've just set it up there, but I think it goes so well with those chickens. And y'all know me, I love me some vintage chickens. Okay, on to the items from this thrift call. So up here, I layered that scalloped platter with the gold. I thought it just played off of the gold. So beautiful with that frame, the copper little pot. And so I did just put that there in front of a platter. And I love it. I added this cute little blue transfer wear under this hen in the nest. I like the blue, complimented the blue on that. So I put that there and I really like the way that looks. I'm loving layering my dishes. Um, I never did that before, but after watching well, people like Julie, it just looks so beautiful. And so I've been doing that. Over here, I took off the smaller ironstone uh, restaurant wear platter. I'm going to put that in the booth and I've put this one here. This is the larger of the platter that looks like my grandmother, my great grandmother's old platter. And so I've put that there and I put the smallest little ironstone platter under that candle. And I really like the way that just kind of elevated it a bit too. Here is where I put the basket. Y'all, it is perfect. The one I had here, it was tearing up. So this is perfect. Here, I put the book that I thrifted from the Goodwill. I'm so glad I got that book now because I wanted to elevate this lamp and that book was perfect. It was thick enough and I just kind of laid my dolly kind of sideways and put my chicken lamp on it. And that is what it looks like. And I just, I love it. I think it is absolutely perfect. Back to the kitchen. So over here, I have put the little ice pick in this little plant. I like the way that the red just kind of goes with all of that. I've set this little platter that matches my great grandmother's over here and um, just put this little thing with the eggs. This is real eggs and um, I use that for our real yard eggs. Uh, James's friend from work brings it to him. But I put that there and then I put this little bowl with faux eggs from Hobby Lobby and I just think it's adorable. And then here is where I've hung my little measuring cup sifter and the vintage jar opener and then my vintage measuring spoons. That's where that is. And I love that. I love the way it all looks. So I wanted to share um, this just in case you like the things like I like, but this is a little Hobby Lobby um, you know, place card holder for a table. And I just, it was like $2 and I pulled the little place card holder piece out. I put my little butter pats up here, set it on that. And then I've got this cute little baby duck that I thrifted. Um, and 
I think that is just adorable. So I just wanted to share that with y'all. Still haven't done anything with that picture. <laughs> I don't know. But as you can see, I had a spot for every piece that I found at the yard sale, but I am getting rid of, you know, a couple pieces. I'm just overlook all this. I've been sitting there doing some work, but I'm loving layering the dishes. I just, it's my thing now and I just can't get enough of it. <laughs> so thank y'all for hanging out. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.